One of the greatest advantages for taking an online course is you can take it with you anywhere you go. However, in an online course, it's important to note a concept called netiquette. Mostly it's just common sense for getting along with others. Think of netiquette as the golden rule of the internet, with millions of people all living, working, and playing in the same virtual space with little or no nonverbal cues available. It's important that everyone play nice on the web. Netiquette actually began before the World Wide Web as we know it today. People using Telnet and Usenet, which were precursors to the web that you're familiar with now, set up rules for text-based communications. There are netiquette rules set up by many different online communities, and so there are variations, but here are some of the basic rules for how to interact online. Whether you're posting something on your blog or sending an email, people will see what you've written. Also remember that most of what is on the web is verbal or textual, and there's little opportunity to explain further or to use nonverbal cues. When you type a response to a message in a discussion forum, First write what you have to say, look it over carefully and make sure that it says what you really want to say, and then post it. It may even be helpful to speak your responses out loud to make sure the tone of what you have written is proper for the message you wish to convey. Use respectful language and consider how your message will be received. When you type something in all capital letters, you may think you're just trying to emphasize what you're saying, but most times it's considered shouting and is therefore rude. Also, if you type whole paragraphs in all caps, you need to consider that you may look unintelligent or, or illiterate to other members of the online community you're participating in. There are very few times that all caps are appropriate. Don't send out unnecessary emails or post questions to the discussion board without looking for the answer first. There are very few questions you could think to ask that have not already been answered, either in the course materials or on the internet at large. Put forth some effort and look for the answers you need. If you still cannot find it, then post the question or send the question along with the locations you've already looked. But please don't send it to everyone. Be selective about who will see your message. On a similar vein, if you know the answer to a question being asked, answer it. Everyone's at a different level in their knowledge. And while we don't expect everyone to know the answer to everything, when you do know the answer, it's great if you can help out someone else. Who knows, they may know the answer to your questions. Make sure that you're right, don't go out on thin ice. Check your facts in more than one source and cite your sources. Before you forward that email about baby carrots being made from deformed full-size carrots soaked in chlorine, check the facts and make sure that's true. Even one email or blog post that is full of misinformation that you contend is accurate can lower your credibility among your peers. Communicating in today's online communities is not much different than physically moving into a small town and getting along with the people that live there. Keep these few rules in mind and you'll find that learning, working, and playing in an online environment can be a really rewarding experience.